Nuclear fusion. First observations of self-heating thermonuclear fuel. Scientists from the Eurofusion Consortium announced the results of a record-breaking experimental campaign conducted in 2021 on the world's largest tokamak jet, joint European Taurus, located in the UK. In experiments, scientists made the first observations of a process called alpha particle heating which allows the fuel to be kept at high temperature during the fusion process. In 2021, scientists from the Eurofusion Consortium, including Polish scientists from the Institute of Plasma Physics and Laser Microfusion IFPILM, in Warsaw, conducted a special experimental campaign on the jet tokamak to investigate the extreme conditions that will occur in the ITER tokamak. An experimental research reactor being built in the south of France, and in future fusion power plants. Scientists were able to achieve the right conditions including a temperature of 150 million degrees Celsius inside a plasma, hot, charged gas, suspended within the device's magnetic field. One of our most impressive results is the first accurate observation of fusion fuel maintaining its temperature by heating with alpha particles. This is a process in which high-energy helium ions, alpha particles, produced in the nuclear fusion reaction transfer their energy to the surrounding fuel mixture to maintain the fusion process. Says Costanza Maggi, member of the UKAEA, United Kingdom Atomic Energy Authority, and former leader of Task Force JET. Studying this process in realistic conditions is crucial for the development of thermonuclear power plants, he adds. The research presented by scientists will have a significant impact on the design work as well as the operation of future experimental thermonuclear devices powered by deuterium-tritium fuel. Uh mixture of two hydrogen isotopes used to produce thermonuclear energy. Most of the results were published in a special issue of the scientific journal, Nuclear Fusion. And papers on alpha particle heating were published in the prestigious scientific journal, Physical Review Letters. First Observations. Heating with Alpha Particles. When high-energy helium ions, alpha particles, produced in nuclear fusion reactions maintain a sufficient temperature of the surrounding fuel mixture, does not interfere with fusion conditions. The heat dissipation techniques used protect the tokamak walls. The diverter is the only part of the tokamak the donut-shaped device used to keep the plasma hot, that comes into direct contact with the hot fuel and must withstand more intense conditions than spacecraft re-entering Earth's atmosphere. The experiments confirmed the predictions of advanced computer models regarding heat transport in plasma which are crucial for extrapolating results from current experimental systems to larger future devices such as ITER and DEMO. Successful testing of methods to recover tritium fuel that had been absorbed by the internal metal wall of the tokamak. Efficient tritium recovery is crucial for the operation and end-of-life retirement of fusion devices, the plasma heating technique planned for the ITER project was also verified. In order to deposit external heat exactly where it is needed, 
This demonstration provides confidence in the design and planned operation of the International Thermonuclear Venture ITER. The tokamak jet is the only device that can produce large amounts of fusion reactions due to its unique ability to operate with a deuterium-tritium DT, fuel mixture. It is a high-efficiency fuel mixture that will also be used in the International ITER project and the future European Fusion Demonstration Plant demo. The second deuterium-tritium experimental campaign, DTE-2, on JET in 2021 set a world record of 59 megajoules for the most fusion heat produced in a single shot, which was met with great public interest when announced in February 2022. The DTE-2 campaign has been prepared for many years. The scientific results and energy record achieved at JET in 2021 demonstrate that we understand and control fusion plasma under conditions as close as possible to those guaranteed in future fusion devices. We predicted and ultimately showed that we could produce, sustain, and explore nuclear fusion under high performance conditions for as long as the device allows. This confirms that we are on the right track to supplying energy obtained from nuclear fusion reactions to the grid, says Volker Norlin, manager of the Fusion Science Department at Eurofusion. We are glad that Polish scientists are contributing to the success achieved on the JET tokamak during the DTE-2 campaign. The thing about science is that we are constantly discovering something new. There are still many challenges ahead of us. But thanks to our common determination in pursuing the goal, the prospect of commercial fusion power plants becomes real explains Agata Chomachevska, National Coordinator of Research on the JET Tokamak from IFPILM. JET is the largest and most successful controlled thermonuclear reaction facility in the world and the central research center for the European Nuclear Fusion Programme. JET is based on the UKAA campus in Cullum, UK and is used by over 31 European laboratories, managed by the Eurofusion Consortium co-funded by the European Commission, including experts, students and staff from across Europe. On Sunday, June 25 this year, Fusion researchers in Europe and around the world celebrated the 40th anniversary of the first plasma produced on JET. Since its founding in 1983, Tokamak JET has spearheaded breakthroughs and efforts to find safe, low-carbon and sustainable fusion power solutions to meet the world's future energy needs. Over the course of its existence, JET has provided key information on the complex mechanics of fusion, enabling scientists to plan the International Fusion Experiment ITER and the Demo Fusion Demonstration Plant currently being designed by the European Fusion Community. Fusion, the process that powers stars like our Sun, provides an almost limitless clean source of electricity in the long term using small amounts of fuel that can be obtained from inexpensive materials around the world. The fusion process combines atoms of light elements such as hydrogen at high temperatures, creating helium and releasing enormous energy in the form of heat. Fusion is inherently safe because it cannot start an uncontrolled process and does not produce waste that takes a long time to decompose. Scientists have discovered a link between intestinal microflora and Alzheimer's disease.
A team of scientists has identified links between gut bacteria and the inflammation and brain changes characteristic of Alzheimer's disease. They showed that the symptoms of the disease can be transferred to a healthy, young body through the transplant of intestinal microflora, which confirms its role in the disease. Alzheimer's disease affects older people, most often over 65 years of age. However, it starts much earlier. We're still not sure how. But abnormal amounts of beta amyloid and tau protein seem to play a big role in the development of the disease. These proteins begin to concentrate in the brain decades before the first symptoms such as memory loss, appear. Despite decades of research, the exact processes that cause the disease remain a mystery. But it is clear that the aging process leads to changes that fuel its development. Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of dementia. This is a general term for loss of memory and other cognitive abilities severe enough to interfere with daily life. More and more people are suffering from Alzheimer's disease, which is related to the increasing life expectancy. Unfortunately, this disease has become the fifth leading cause of death worldwide. In new research, scientists from King's College London. APC Microbiome Ireland and IRCCS Centro San Giovanni di Dio Fattabene Fratelli in Italy have demonstrated the key role of the gut microbiome in the development of Alzheimer's disease. Using intestinal microflora transplants, a team of scientists showed that memory disorders characteristic of Alzheimer's disease can be transferred to young, healthy organisms. The results and description of the research were published in the journal, Brain. People with Alzheimer's disease are usually diagnosed at or after the onset of cognitive symptoms. But by then it is too late, at least with current therapeutic methods, said neuroscientist Yvonne Nolan of APC Microbiome Ireland. Understanding the role of gut microbes in the early stages of dementia, before symptoms appear, may open up opportunities to develop new therapies and even individualized interventions, she added. The results of previous studies have already suggested that changes in the intestinal microflora are a potential risk factor for the development of Alzheimer's disease. It appears that we have confirmation that the intestinal microflora does indeed play a large role in the development of this devastating disease. Alzheimer's disease is an insidious disease for which there is no effective therapy, admitted Sandrine Thore, a neurologist from King's College London. This study represents an important step forward in our understanding of the disease, confirming that the composition of our gut microbiota plays a causal role in its development, she added. But how does gut microbiota impact brain health? To check this, scientists recruited 69 people suffering from Alzheimer's disease. The control group included 64 healthy people. Blood was collected from all participants, and some of them also had stool collected for analysis. Isolated microorganisms inhabiting the gastrointestinal tract from samples taken from Alzheimer's patients were transplanted into 16 young rats. The rodents were previously given antibiotics for a week to kill off some of their own bacterial flora. Another 16 young rodents, 
also after a week on antibiotics, received an intestinal microflora transplant from Healthy Controls. Ten days after transplantation, the rats were subjected to behavioral tests to assess their memory performance as well as other features associated with Alzheimer's disease. Rodents transplanted with microbiome from Alzheimer's disease patients showed memory impairment. The memory tests we used in our research rely on the growth of new nerve cells in the hippocampus of the brain. Animals, infected, with the gut bacteria of people with Alzheimer's disease produced fewer new nerve cells and had impaired memory, Nolan explained. Rats with gut microbiota from Alzheimer's disease patients showed severely impaired neurogenesis. The human donors themselves also had lower scores on cognitive tests. Scientists also observed marked modifications in a set of metabolites, such as amino acids and enzymes, that are involved in the maintenance, growth and proper functioning of cells. These changes may contribute to reduced growth of new neurons in the hippocampus. Neurogenesis cannot be easily measured in living humans. But blood from Alzheimer's disease patients reduced neurogenesis in human neural stem cells in the laboratory. The level of gene expression in stem cells exposed to the blood of Alzheimer's patients has also been linked to the patient's performance on cognitive tests and the type of bacteria in the gut. Impaired neurogenesis may be a convergent link between the observed altered gut microbiota composition and cognitive impairment in Alzheimer's disease, the researchers wrote in the publication. Significantly lower numbers of Coprococcus bacteria, which are associated with healthy aging, were observed in Alzheimer's disease patients. Sick people also had significantly more desulfovibrio microorganisms compared to the control group. These bacteria have been linked in previous studies to the development of Park disease.